Hey, good evening and thanks so much for joining us here. I'm Mike Gillespie. If you weren't outside last night, you may not have felt the winds, but you likely heard them. The strong winds caused more than 10,000 power outages across the city that resulted in school closures of Flower Bluff ISD and Seashore Charter Schools. Our Simone Simpson spoke with AEP Texas to see just how many customers were impacted by the weather. Hi Mike, the images we received from viewers were incredible. Trees were snapped in half and uprooted. Residents all the way from Petronila to here in the city felt the strong winds aftermath. AEP Texas crews have been working through the night to help restore power lines. We spoke with one roofer who says after nights like the one the city experienced last night, their phones start ringing off the hook. A regular day, we may get eight, nine, ten calls on a day mm -hmm. um, for to go out and check on their properties and everything else. And you can probably triple that whenever we get storms like that, wind events and everything else. The city saw wind gusts up to 68 miles per hour. The phones usually start ringing because people will start seeing shingles in their front yard. And uh, when they start seeing that, they get a little nervous. At midnight, the coastal bend peaked at 14,000 outages across the city. Omar Lopez with AEP Texas says they were able to restore power to many customers overnight. Almost every single power outage we've seen in the past 24 hours have been the result of high winds. The city saw many downed power lines, which always hold the potential for danger. A downed power line, please consider it dangerous and energized. Even if it's not, assume that it's dangerous and energized. David Galvan of Galvan Roofing and Construction says it's better to be proactive versus reactive when it comes to your home. It's better to be safe than sorry. Give us a call. We're not going to charge you anything to go look at your roof. And if we do find something, that'd be even better for, for them to find out early than later so that way they don't get damaged inside of their property with rain leaks and things along that line. And if you haven't done so already, you may want to take a look at your home. If you see damage, contact your homeowner's insurance. Mike. All right. Thank you, Simone. And